I hope you vlogmas everybody. It is a week until Christmas Eve. It is amazing how quickly the month is going by. I've got a little bit of knitting to show you and then I will put a clip in for the rest of the video. I worked with that green eyelash yarn and I made a really cute, three really cute projects. So I'll show you my knitting really quick. I got actually a lot of knitting done since I chatted with you yesterday. I have a sock finished. I think when I showed it to you yesterday, I was work, was I working on the toe decreases already? I think maybe, or I was getting pretty close. Anyways, sock is done. It fits perfect because I did a quick little try on test as I was decreasing for the toes. I wasn't sure how many stitches I wanted to go down to, so I just tried it on. And as soon as it fit perfect, I just quit. I didn't worry about how many stitches were left and a Kitchener stitched it. And then I immediately cast on sock number two. So there's the new brand new cake. Oh, I didn't bring up, I didn't bring up the tiny little, I had a little tiny little bit left, not a whole lot left because I make my leg a little bit longer. So I used almost all of the 50 gram ball. So here's cake number two and here is sock number two. Again, this is Timber Yarns Holly Berry, which is so, so pretty. And there I am. I've got a two inch cuff done and I'm working on the leg down to do my heel sock. So this is the super simple cuff down sock pattern that I'm following. Just my basic, super basic, super simple, great for beginner sock pattern. And that's not all. I also cast on Christmas hat number three. So again, did some ribbing, did some increases, and now I'm on the body and I'm just going to work around and around. I'm this one, I'm doing a little bit smaller. I put on four less stitches because the hat that I wore, you probably saw the picture of Eric and I with our matching hats. Those were knit the exact same size and that was knit to fit Eric. So a large, I want to say men's and women's necessarily, but it was a large hat. So those two hats were knit the same. I wore it and it was fine. It felt a little big on me. So I went down four stitches. I cast on four less stitches for the ribbing. I increased um, the same number of stitches. So I'm still four less on the body. So I'm hoping that'll just make it a little snugger and I'm going to do it just a smidge bit shorter as well for me. And this will be hat number three. Knitting up really, really quick. And that was me. That's all the knitting I worked on. The hat. Yep. I've got my candy cane scarf pulled out because I want to work on that. And I want to show you something really super cute. This was a little gift left in my mailbox by a local knitter Fran. Fran, I love this. This is so festive. And look at this. So it is a crocheted dishcloth. I have no idea. You know me and my crochet. Is that like a shell pattern? I don't know. I think that's what that is, right? Anyway, it's very, very pretty. Love the red, white, and green. And it has a scrubby in it. This is really wonderful. It is it is thick and it is solid, whatever. I'm not sure what it's stuffed with. Anyways, and look how it's been wrapped. Just taking and folding that dishcloth, folded a corner up. It's flat at the front. They folded the point down and then the other two ends have folded in. And then the ribbon goes through. It goes right through the scrubby and a little bow tied on the front. So this is beautiful. What a lovely little surprise. So I am, I've been admiring it for the last couple of days. I almost, I almost don't want to take it apart, but I know Fran had said that it was just a little something for me to use over the holidays. So maybe I will take it apart and put it in my kitchen. So thank you. That was a super nice surprise. Okay, so now I will put in the video of me playing with that green eyelash yarn. I know it's been a couple of weeks. And a few people have said, Louise, chop, chop. You said you were going to do this in November and now it's mid-December. <laughs> so I'm only a couple of weeks behind. 
I'm not going to say one more word about it. I'll just let you watch it. I, I've sped it up so it won't be a super long watch and you'll get to see the end product. And then you can tell me what you think. Was it a success? Or would you pass? Or are you going to go out and try to find green eyelash yarn and replicate it? Okay, let me know down in the comments and I will check the comments to see what you guys think of it. I am all ready to start working on this project. I have three different foam cone shaped pieces. This one was in my stash. It has no label on it. So I just did a quick measurement. It's about three and three quarter inches wide at the base and about nine inches tall. The next two I found at Michael's. And this one here is four and three quarter inches at the base and it is 18 inches tall. Then the tallest one is five and three quarter inches and 23, 24 inches to the tip. So the yarn I'm gonna work on this project with is Bernat Disco. Does anybody remember having this in their stash? This colorway is Jungle Jive. <laughs> I actually have to say, I love the shade of green. I think I did make a few scarves out of this fun eyelash yarn back when it first came out and it was all the rage and tricky to knit with. <laughs> anyway, I think this is going to make hopefully a really fun Christmas tree. I need to take the plastic off here first, don't I? I have no idea how this is going to cover. There, get the plastic off. Get the plastic off here. Okay, one Christmas tree and the second one. I see this be as being a pair, a grouping, a tree. I guess it's, it's going to be a trio, a trio of trees. In my den that's my living room, maybe? I'm not sure. I haven't actually thought about where I'm going to put them. I've just been trying to figure out how who's going to make them. I guess I'll figure out where they're going to go once they're completed. Okay. Exciting. Okay, so this yarn, oh, I was looking on here, and there's not a whole lot of yardage, but I guess we're not going to have to worry about these, the, you know, the yardage for this because it is, well, hopefully not. I have 12 balls of this, I counted. There's 52 yards or 47 meters. I think I'm gonna start with the big one first. I'm just gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna wrap it around. And I have some pins that I'm gonna use just to poke into the foam. So I don't know very much about craft supplies and foam, but this is the sticky. This is, I know it feels sticky. I'm not sure what the right word is. It's rough. It has a rough texture and it's sticky. This one here is really, really smooth. And the yarn is pretty much just sticking to this. Which is kind of cool. I hadn't expected that. So that is kind of a nice surprise. I may have to wrap this a couple of times because look at this. It's pretty thin in here. I'm gonna pin I'm gonna pin this on. I'm gonna wrap it and we'll see. I may not have enough yarn to do all three cones if I have to go over them twice if the coverage isn't that good. So I've just got a green pin and I'm just gonna pin that on there just to hold it at least just to get it started. And we'll see how this turns out. I'm pretty excited. I think this will be a fun addition to my Christmas decor. Haven't thought about where I will be storing it. <laughs> because I'm going to worry about that after Christmas. We're going to get it made first and put it out and display it. And enjoy it. And then we'll worry about where, where I'm going to keep it for the other 10 months of the year. I wonder how many pins I'm going to need. Maybe I'll have to make a run back to Michael's to buy more pins.
Any guesses on how many balls of yarn this is going to take me to wrap this big 23 inch cone? Okay, this is maybe going to take me a little longer than I thought. That's all right. Not in a rush. It's looking great so far. <laughs> looking fantastic. I think I'm just going to speed this up because I am just, as you can see, I'm just wrapping it. I'm just turning it. Kind of trying to overlap it. And just go round and round and round. So all I'm doing is wrapping. I don't even have to, I'm not even pinning it. And it looks like it's gonna stay. It's nice and snug on there. I don't think it's gonna wiggle around. I'm just wrapping. And maybe we'll put a couple pins in at the end just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And when I get to the end of this ball, I don't know, I'm only about halfway getting good coverage on this, I think. Oh my gosh. Now I'm thinking I may have yarn left over. <laughs> Here I was worried I would run out. I'm just going to keep wrapping. We'll listen to some Christmas music and I'll keep wrapping. Getting to the top. And <laughs> it's only took me a ball and a half. Here I thought I might run out of yarn. I'm really glad I bought the second cone. So now I'm going to have three of these. Look at that. Now I'm going to go over it all again just because you can tell where I've just hand wrapped it up here. It's a lot fuzzier and where I was twisting the cone, it got tighter and it doesn't have the, um, the fuzziness, the looseness. So I'm just going to go over this again to give it a decorative look. Oh my gosh, I have to say that I really like this. I think this is so fun. Boy, am I glad I kept this yarn in my stash all these years. Just for today, so I could do this project. And the only, I only pinned it all along the bottom for the first round just to get it attached. And then at the end, end of the ball, I pinned down the last little bit of the tail and I pinned down the very beginning of the yarn again. I'm really happy with this. I really had no idea how this was going to turn out, but I have to say, I really, really, I really like this. I think this is making the perfect Christmas tree. I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm just going to pin the end. All right, it's 
So I went over it kind of up and down three times. The first time really, really tightly overlapping. And then the second time wound it down really loosely and then wound it back up again and pinned the top up there. And it almost took two balls of yarn. <laughs> so I'm gonna have lots left. I love it, love it. There, I'll set it right there. So now the next one. I might as well just go, I guess, and finish, finish this ball. I wound it a fourth time. So I, the other one I st ended up at the top. This one I wound down and ended it up the bottom. Have to say, I am really, really pleased with how these are looking. They, uh oh, I think my pin came out. I'll do that again. Yeah, this is super, super fun. So glad I did not jump the gun and donate this. Glad that I kept this. Okay, hopefully that will hold. That. Oh my goodness, I have two done. Now, the little teeny tiny one. This is not going to take much yarn at all. And it'll be interesting to see how it holds because this is the smooth, not the, what's the, um, the rough textured. Let's see if that makes a difference or not. Okay, I'm going to pin this again. What a fun Christmas craft. Kids, I mean, this is simple enough. Kids could do this too. There we have the little one. And now to decorate them. I'll give you one guess. If you've been watching my last few videos, I'm sure you already are thinking exactly what I am going to decorate these with. And you may be right. <laughs> a family of trees, a trio of trees. I will take a picture of them. I'll put, I'll set them up. I'll set them up and then I'll get a, I'll get a, I have a clip in here of them before I start decorating them. <laughs> 